welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film for you guys a Dollar Tree haul. I went up to the Dollar Tree this morning with a couple things on my list and I walked away with a whole bunch of things so let me just hop right in and show you what I got. First thing I got which was actually on my list were these cotton rounds. I just ran out of the ones that I used to take off my eye makeup and so I needed to pick up some more so can't go wrong with the $1.25. Next, I picked up a couple more of those t-shirts, or not t-shirts, um, tank tops uh, that I got. I picked up one of these nude color tank tops the other day, so I picked up one more because they work really well in uh, the nude color, and then I picked up also one in the gray color. Mine had been through the wash a couple times, and it's still holding up really, really well, so that's why I went and picked up two more. Then I picked up this uh, burlap sheet here that I am going to use for a DIY. So I got that. Picked up some scotch tape. I also picked up a couple of drawer organizers for the kids' drawers. Uh, just to sort of corral socks and underwear and small items in their drawer. So I got this one here for Jude's room and then I got this one here for Miriam's room. Then I just bought Jude a nice water bottle for back to school, Thermos brand, it was like $10. On the first day of school, he lost it. So I asked the teachers if it was in the lost and found and it is absolutely nowhere to be found. So I went out and I got him a Dollar Tree water bottle so that if it happens again, then uh, I won't be as sad. So it's BPA free, just green, a perfect size. I don't like to get the too big size because they're just too heavy for them. So this way, he can refill it at the water fountain if he needs to get more water than this during the day. Then I picked up these uh, thumbtacks. I'm going to use these for a DIY. I also picked up a little pumpkin that I'm going to use for a DIY. Then thinking ahead to Christmas, I wanted to start getting things out of the way, especially stocking stuffers. So anytime I see something that I think the kids will like in their stocking, I picked it up. So this is a little Peppa Pig fun pack. It's reusable sticker set. So. I got that for Miriam. Then I saw these in the, uh, the fall section. So are these little cookie cutters. So there is a pack of, I think, yeah, six of them and they have like a little oak leaf and a little squirrel as well as a pumpkin, a leaf, an acorn and what's this last one here? And a frog? No, what is this thing? Oh, an owl, an owl. So, um, I don't know, I thought that would be good for the kids for either using with Play-Doh or actually baking real cookies. So I thought that would be fun, so I picked that up. I've been looking for these for a while and they're the emoji band-aids. So I made sure to grab this while I saw it. So that's one bag down, three more to go, I think. Yeah, so I bought a mirror, just a really plain mirror that I'm gonna use for a DIY for a Halloween uh, DIY, I think. So I bought that one there. Then I don't have any parties planned for the near future, but I just, I remember in the past having a hard time finding black balloons. So I saw these and so I decided to pick those up. I also picked up these mint color. They're sort of pearlescent and uh, they're really pretty and I thought those would work well for either Miriam or Jude's parties. So um, I picked those up just to sort of stash away in the party drawer. Speaking of parties or just regular baking, I found these Family Bakery Disney uh, mini cupcake cases. They've got Mickey Mouse on there. Both my kids love Mickey Mouse. I also like Mickey Mouse, so uh, I thought that these would be a fun little thing for the kids as well as for myself, so I got those. I, so I've seen this candle holder a number of times at the Dollar Tree and I've never really bought it because I didn't really have a use for it but I thought it would look really really nice for Halloween decorations so that's why I picked that up this time. So I think you will see that when I do my Halloween mantle. You'll probably see this make an appearance there. And just to let you guys know, I had some comments like about showing the hauls if you could uh, see the stuff in my house so I try my best to show in another video how I use some of these purchases it doesn't always work out but also often I'll show it on Instagram so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram you should because that's where you'll see most of this stuff being used then another little stocking stuffer I picked up these M&Ms they're good until I think March of 2018 uh, so they'll be good by Christmas. So I just picked those up so that I can stash those away for stocking stuffers. So there's bag number two down. And then the third bag is full of flowers. So if you watched my uh, home, uh, my fall home tour, then you will see that I said that I didn't buy enough 
flowers for my house for fall and so I went a little crazy <laughs> but I think I'm going to be able to use them all either in DIYs or just sort of in simple vases so um and then also in this little market bag that I bought so I bought <laughs> all these flowers <laughs> this huge bunch of flowers here in the most beautiful fall colors um, there are hydrangeas in there, there are dahlias in there, there are, what are these? Dahlias also, what are these? These are chrysanthemums, so there's some mums in there. And yeah, so I just loved all these colors here. They are exactly the colors that I like to use for fall decor, and so I picked them up. There are 10 stems in total, so I went a little crazy, but this stuff can last sort of years to year to year. And then in the summer, I bought a lavender plant, and it's been outside just in the pot that I bought it in, but I wanna transplant it and bring it inside, and I hope, hope, hope that it will last inside. Um, just, I don't know, who knows how it's going to go, but I love this lavender plant. So I just bought this really simple uh, plastic, but sort of looks like terracotta pot. It's got like the extra thing on the bottom for drainage. So I think this will work really well for my lavender plant. At least I'm hoping so. So there's that. And then I got this tray. So it is this tray here. It is silver, but it kind of looks gold depending on the light. Uh, but it is, you would think it'd be plastic, but it's not, it's actually metal. So I picked that up for a DIY that I'm hoping to use for Halloween. Then on to the last bag here, I got this skull that I'm planning on spray painting, but this is it here, kind of ghoulish, but uh, I thought it would look nice with the coat of spray paint. I don't know what color yet, but I thought that would be pretty cool for Halloween. Oh, and then I guess I picked up another one of these uh, storage containers Hmm, maybe I thought I was gonna do two in Miriam's drawer. I don't know, but anyway, another one of these for storage. And also for stocking stuffers, I hadn't seen these one before, so Miriam's been watching Shimmer and Shine lately, so I thought those would be good for stocking for her. And this is just tried and true Paw Patrol, so I thought that would be good for Jude. So stocking stuffers right there. Then also for the kids, I got these little uh, confetti stickers. I hadn't seen these before. So I got Miriam these frozen ones, and then I got Jude, the uh, Mickey and the Roadster Racers one there. So I got those for them. I hadn't seen these before at my Dollar Tree, so I picked some up uh, for myself, but also for a giveaway. So I've been slowly collecting things from the Dollar Tree uh, that I can do a giveaway at some point in the near-ish future. Um, once I think I got enough stuff, but uh, anyway, I found these planner stickers here, as well as these ones here, these page flags, and then these little sticky note calendars I think will be really helpful for me because I have a planner but I also have a notebook that I like to use, especially for YouTube videos. And so I like to plan out my month, you know, if I'm doing collaborations or whatever, other than on my phone. I don't always have access to the calendar so sometimes I like to just make up my own little calendar and this way it'll save me from drawing out grids and stuff like that. I can just use a sticky note. <laughs> then I picked up these candles because they were gold and pretty. We often host parties at our house and I thought gold candles were kind of cute so I picked those ones up there. Jude also needed some a fork and a spoon for his lunches and um, because we somehow lost our one from last year, I picked him up this Zach brand uh, Finding Dory fork and spoon. Then this was actually on the list for sure. It is a night light. I picked this up for our haul at night because both kids, uh, if they need to use a washroom or whatever in the night, um, we've been using the washroom light on, but I didn't want to sort of waste the bulbs overnight, so I thought this would be good for the hallway uh, for bathroom trips during the night. I picked up this black uh, candle. I hadn't seen these before, but I had seen them hauled before, and I just think it's really, really pretty. So it's gold on the inside there, and you can see the leaf probably when the light is flickering in there. I just like that it was black and really simple, so I'm gonna use that on my Halloween mantle. And then the last two things are for the kids. This is gonna be for Jude for his stocking, he is reading up a storm. And so I thought this would be good uh, for him 
uh, not that he's reading chapter books yet, but I thought this would be good for him just to sort of get him used to uh, reading books that may be a little bit more lengthy that he might not read all the way through in one sitting. So I got those for him for his stocking. And then lastly, I found this book here uh, down by the bay and it comes with a CD. So because I drive Miriam uh, 15 minutes each way to school, I thought this would be great uh, because it's got a little CD, we can play it in the car, it's got a whole bunch of different kids songs on there and so I think she'll really like that. Um, as well as the book. So there you have it. That was my huge Dollar Tree haul. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, you know the drill. Please subscribe so that you don't miss a video in the future. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!